going on guys we brought in our sdhq built 2023 toyota tundra to talk about our new arab compressor mount we got garrett out of the office to go over what comes in the kits and all options available garrett what do we got going on today uh, so we got our 2022 plus tundra compressor mount designed to work with airb dual compressors as shown right here on the main compressor mount um, the main compressor mount is made out of eighth inch mild steel as well as the other three support brackets are made out of 3 16 mild steel uh, we do supply a drill template because this kit does require drilling but you'll know exactly where you need to drill on the rear plastic panel without any issues thanks to that template and it looks like we got a leather patch over there what's that for yeah so we actually do include this leather patch just to give you peace of mind for heat protection on the back of your sheet when running the compressor with the seat up and stuff like that sweet and i know we've got a couple of different options for chuck mounting and the actual switch mounting talk to me about those yeah so we actually have an s1 and an s2 kit on here standing for stage one and stage two our stage one kit right here will actually locate your chuck and switch right on top of the compressor mount making it easy to access and ready to go all plug and play once installed onto your kit and so the s1 is going to remain behind the seat correct yes, it will mount cool. on top of the compressor behind the seat if you don't like that option we do have our s2 option which will relocate your chucks to the underneath the front seats once again it is another plug and play option has all the airlines fitting and, and power cables you need to get your compressor up and running once installed. Now, if you're a hybrid guy, you've got our power solutions kit. If you're a non-hybrid guy, you need to get power. Looks like we've got a harness for you. Yeah, so before we previously had our ARB6 and our ARB13 harness, we've actually gone and created our ARB9 now for the perfect fitment on the new Tundra compressor install. So if you're a non-hybrid guy, we've got our extension harness to get your power where you need it. Sweet. Now it looks like there are a couple of additional maybe upgrades options. Looks like an external chuck and some plugs. Talk to me about these. Yeah, so actually what you're looking at right there is our new billet air chuck plugs. Um, what they do is they end up sealing the top and the inside of your air chucks just to keep dirt, water, and any other debris while adding a little bit of pizzazz or personal, personal flair to it with whatever color you choose to run inside of your chucks. Sweet. Um, in front of that, we also do have a new product we're coming out with, which is going to be our recessed uh, air chuck plug bulkhead uh, it'll work for rear bumpers or in the bed so if you're looking for a chuck mounting solution outside of the vehicle but still wanted to look clean stay tuned for that product coming out very soon awesome now a big question that a lot of you guys are going to have is about noise inside the cab you're going to say when that air compressor is running how loud is it well let's get in the truck so we can show you exactly what it sounds like here we are inside the tundra now odds are you're never going to be running this compressor with the vehicle fully sealed up and everybody sitting inside of it but for conversation's sake here we are as you can see by this decibel meter I'm holding, during a regular conversation, I'm anywhere from 80 to 100 decibels. What I'm going to do now is move this thing to the center of the vehicle. The rear seat is down, and we're going to activate the compressor. Garrett, go ahead and hit that switch. As you can see, no more than a regular conversation, and that's with the seat completely down. Now, what if you're running our S2 kit and can leave the seat up? We're going to pop that thing up and see what that sounds like. All right, the back seat is up. We're gonna put this back in the middle. Garrett, go ahead and hit that switch. As you can see, it's actually quieter than a normal conversation. Another concern we've been hearing is, oh, that compressor gets hot. It's gonna burn my seat. While we're in here, I figure we have Garrett show you our leather patch and how that mitigates those concerns. So we include the leather patch with our kit to give you peace of, peace of mind with heat, heating up of the compressor. Uh, though during our testing of the compressor, we actually tested the Airb dual compressor to thermal overload, and the leather patch did its, did its job by thermally protecting the seat and making sure you have no worries. Uh, we do recommend running the compressor for no longer than 10 to 15 minutes with the seat back up. So if you're going to run it for any longer than that, open the seat up, and even if you do hit thermal overload, you have no worries of anything melting or burning in your car. As you guys can see, noise inside the cab is a non-issue. Now these kits are in stock with the main kit and all available options. So make sure to head on over to our website to get your hands on yours. Garrett, we appreciate you coming out and going over these kits with us. It's my pleasure. Awesome. Like always, guys, we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next one.